Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Boss It Matters for your daily coverage of all the latest news updates and transfers roundup regarding Barcelona. In this video, we have latest reports that say that despite the complications, Massey's renewal may be on the horizon. Meanwhile, Memphis Depay is looking forward to making an impression at the club by giving his best as the future of Ilaich Moriba simply cannot be resolved alongside many more such updates. So make sure you watch this video till the very end without skipping over any part. We have a small request for our audience. Over 80% of our channel's viewers are consistently watching our videos but without subscribing to the channel. As for our subscribers, only 28% of them have turned on all the notifications for the channel and enabled the YouTube app notifications. So those who haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon, select all and then enable the YouTube app notifications to keep enjoying our videos. For the first news update of the day, Spanish outlet Marca reports that the coaching staff of Barcelona are delighted with Griezmann's commitment despite his future at Barcelona being unknown at the moment. Up next, reliable journalist Gerard Romero reports that Ronald Koeman sees Gavi ahead of Ricky Puig in the packing order and is delighted with him. The coach also congratulated President Juan Laporta on the signing of Yusuf Demir. Reporting on the status of yet another talented youngster, top-tier journalist Ferran Martinez states that Remanai is currently in no rush to make a decision. Barcelona have received several offers from Cadiz, Famaicao and Sassuolo, but the player wants to make good use of the minutes he's getting by Ronald Koeman and wait for a much better offer for now. Therefore, his departure isn't expected to happen in the short term. Up next, we have some great news, as Marcel reports that Serginio Dest has rejected offers from Borussia Dortmund, Arsenal and Monaco. He wants to stay at Barcelona and grow as a footballer. For the next one, we have an update regarding Barcelona's preseason. Catalonia Radio reports that in the end, it has been decided that there won't be any public at the Camp Nou for the Juan Gampa Trophy. As a result, Barcelona must now return the 15,000 tickets they had already sold for the Juan Gamper game at the Camp Nou. The idea is to play the games at the Johan Kraft Stadium if possible with about 3,000 fans. In her latest interview, the spokesperson of the Catalan Health Ministry, Patricia Plaja, confirmed that the Juan Gamper match will be played at the Johan Kraft Stadium in the previously mentioned capacity, that is, with 3,000 spectators in the stands. On top of that, Spanish publication Mundo Deportivo reports that there is no news yet as to whether or not fans can enter the Camp Nou for the first league game against Real Sociedad. The entire Barcelona squad selected for the preseason traveled to Germany yesterday. However, very strangely, the team had one of the calmest arrivals in Germany. There were hardly any fans upon arriving waiting to welcome the team at the airport. Reporting further on this issue, Spanish outlet Sports reports that President Juan Laporta has stayed in Barcelona and has not travelled to Germany for the pre-season because he is finalising the details in Leo Messi's contract. His renewal is expected to be announced next week at the latest. For the next one, we have some good news, as Mundo Deportivo reports that there has been a new step in Felipe Coutinho's recovery. He has trained with the ball yesterday and could be ready to join training with the rest of his teammates sooner rather than later. The report further stated that Barcelona will meet with Emerson Royal today to define the date of the player's presentation. The Brazilian will start training at the Ciuta Desportiva from the following Monday. Going to the next news update, we have the comments of Memphis Depay. In his latest interview with Mundo Deportivo, Depay said that on his first day at Barcelona, everyone was very kind to him. He felt a great welcome in the dressing room and it's a feeling that always makes him very comfortable. Of course, the level of training at Barca is very high but that makes him happy because he felt it is what he needed. The Dutch forward appeared to be impressed by the club already. He said that when you arrive at the stadium and visit the museum, you have that feeling of living history. You see the trophies and it is a moment in which you truly realize that you have reached a great club. On being questioned about the shirt number that he will wear at the club, Deepai said that it's a good question but it's something that he does not know the answer of yet. It's not the most important thing right now. He will fight for a place on the team and then the number will arrive. 
Deepai asserted that it's up to him to show the coach that he deserves to be in the starting 11. He can play anywhere up front and in all these positions he feels comfortable. Memphis said that he knows what Coleman expects from him. The same thing he gave the national team and Olympic Leonai. He will try to offer the same quality to Barcelona as well. Going to the next news update, we have official confirmation by the club that the sporting and financial project of the new Barcelona board of directors has received a vote of confidence in receiving a stable triple B negative credit rating from the credit rating agency Fitch. The credit rating agency gives a triple B rating to companies that are satisfactory at the time of rating just as has happened to FC Barcelona after their assessment. With this triple B stable negative rating, the Fitch agency values positively the club's financial project which will have to undergo important readjustments to balance the books. Now for those of you who do not get it yet, Barcelona is a good investment to make and this was certified by the credit rating agency. The banks will now grant the club loans at a lower interest rate. Once the club gets an A plus rating, they can borrow more to buy more at less interest rates. In short, better the rating, the lesser interest on loans. Barcelona just got the rating upgraded to a better one. Up next, we have some updates regarding Messi's renewal status. Spanish publication Cope reports that Messi arrived at the airport in Barcelona last night to fly to Ibiza where he will spend the last few days of his vacation. Meanwhile, Sport reports that contrary to what has been said previously, Messi will not train with Barcelona until he has renewed his contract. He will pen his new deal at the beginning of August. However, according to the report of journalist Ramon Fuente, Barcelona will not have to re-register Messi with the RFEF again when his contract extension is signed. His license would be the same one as before. The president of Getafe, Ankel Torres, also commented on this issue. He said that he discussed Messi's situation with Laporta and also with Javier Tebas. La Liga simply cannot allow Messi to leave. They would all regret it. Players like Messi or Cristiano should continue to be in Spain. And what appears to be some good news, Mundo Deportivo reports that Lionel Messi will sign his contract renewal in the next few days with Barcelona. Moving on to the next news update, Spanish publication Mundo Deportivo reports that progression in talks with Illach Moriba over a contract extension has cooled down again. During the meeting in this morning, the player's agents have asked to speak again with the club at a later moment. According to the report of ARS Sports, Illach Moriba's renewal is not closed as of now. The player asks for a 6 million euro net salary per season, triple of what he earns right now and more than players like Araujo and Pedri. That's all the news we could collect for you today. Now moving on to the transfer section, at number 1 we have a report by Spanish publication Mundo Deportivo. It states the Barcelona remain attentive to the market and one of the positions the club want to reinforce the team with is a centre-back. One of the names that has come to the fore in the recent days is Cristian Romero from Atalanta. Barcelona however can only afford him on a loan deal. In a similar report, trusted journalist Ferran Martinez states that Cristian Romero is a player that Barcelona like very much but the club cannot make an investment on him due to the poor finances. They would only consider a loan. The operation is complicated as of today. However, as per the reports of Italian journalist Gianluigi Longari, Barcelona have already made an official offer for Cristian Romero. Tottenham are in the race but Barca are desperate for the Argentine's signature. Going to the next news update, we have a report by journalist Alfredo Peduya. It states that Miralem Pjanic has rejected two proposals. He is waiting for Juventus. Juventus manager Massimiliano Allegri also wants to sign the Bosnian midfielder, but the Italian side do not see it so clearly at this moment in time. Going to the next one, we have a report by journalist Gerard Romero. It states that Ronald Koeman is not in favor of bringing Renato Sanchez to the club despite wanting a midfielder to strengthen the team. That's all the news we could collect for you today. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon, select all and enable all the YouTube app notifications. We have always been overly impressed by your response to our videos. So in this episode, we have decided to set a target of 550 likes. Please, Coolers, help us reach our target on this episode as well. 
Now that's all we have for today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Vishkal Barsa, Vishkal Catalonia.